Well, we're on the road again and by we I mean me <laughs> I've got the four-wheeler loaded up been doing some e-scouting of a spot that it's pretty roadless my research on it isn't great it doesn't seem like there's a ton of elk down there but I think there's enough country that I'm sure people don't hit that um, I have faith that I'll get into some sheds this weekend All right, well, this is the setup. I've got my old mattress that's flat as a base. And I've got that blow up air mattress, my sleeping bag, pillow and blanket and some stuff, but it is kind of late. So we're gonna crawl in here, go to bed. So it's pretty late, but this is my um, dinner, sort of. I, I did a heat out at Taco Bell. I'm up here so I'd have some calories for tomorrow, but I'm having a protein shake before bed. I'm going to chug this Gatorade, have some water, um, should be good. Bed's, um, bed's actually pretty comfortable. Don't think it's going to be cold enough for me to need the blanket tonight, which will be good, but got a new haircut, bringing the mullet back, so maybe that'll bring us some good luck tomorrow. All right, guys, it's time. I did see, uh, or here in one other vehicle drive up this morning, which is all good. It's just one other guy it's getting light out. So I'm going to drive in a few miles to try and get in some sheds. Let's do it. All right, well, I made it. Um, not as far in as I was hoping. It turns out this road is closed. I'm already an elk track right out at the gate. So let's um, yeah, get way back in there. Try to scoop some sheds. Let's do this. Broke his third. That's a big bull, though. Now we got one shed bull. We got a bunch of bulls in this little herd, too. So, let's see some more rags. Oh, there's another shed bull stepping into the frame in the back. Another one. So we've got three shed poles. Oh no, wait, that one up top is a, is a tiny spike. Never mind, excuse me. So we got two shed poles. But what's not great is seeing only two are dropped. Although, that's an elk antler right there. Look at that. Look at that right where they're walking. There's a brown. Yes, baby. Right where that bull is. There's literally a brown elk shed right, right behind that bull's head. Oh, my God. Let's go. There it is. Nice left side brown. I don't want to push these bulls. There's a bunch of them. They're all still pretty much holding. Like I said, I think there's three shed bulls now that... I think a third one stepped in the frame right at the end, so I think three shed bulls in this specific group. And we've got one brown spotted. Alright, here's the decision. I really want to stay on this top, but I know there's other people around, and I know there's a brown down there, which means there should be more. You know, I saw enough shed bulls to say there's probably more, and those bulls should be still moving up and uh, getting the timber to where they're fed, so I'll stay out of where they're at. <clears throat> I'm gonna go pick up that brown and start looping down low, see if I can't match him up. And then probably just spend all day in this big canyon. It's, it's huge. All right, guys, here we go. There it is. 
not a very big bowl to be honest with you. But a nice brown. Very cool. Yeah, not a very big one, but more of like a rag six, which is interesting. Considering considering there was that nice bowl still packing. Other bowl packing was like this, this, this. Good bowl, but hey, I'll take a brown any day, so. Very nice. Let's keep going. So I got a shed spotted right down on that and like it's an okay shed but there's no way I'm going to get it um, I mean I'll mark it on my scout to hunt I know I only have one antler on me right now but in order to get that I'm gonna have to lose like 300 feet of elevation bomb into that canyon going in the wrong direction and it's definitely a chalk or junk. Like, I'm not one for leaving antlers, but there's no way, I don't know, let's zoom in, there's no way I'm dropping off this giant thing to go all the way down to there to get a, a chalk or a junk, so. I mean, cool the glass one up and I'm gonna mark it on my map regardless, but don't glass places you don't wanna go, cause I'm disappointed that I'm not gonna go get that. Got something over here. Your dead head. Chunky one at that. But we're here in Utah. That is ancient. How wide that buck is though. Even got a cheater. That uh don't have the app to um, be able to report this and I'm not in service, so it has to stay too, but at least we're finding stuff. Just came over to check out that rub. Got deer in there. It's hard white. It's pretty nice. Let's check it out. Yeah, it's a good buck. Probably the last year's. Not too bad. Battle. Yeah, it's good hard white. You know, nothing super special, but good buck. Got another old one spotted. Oh, I'm not sure I can go get that one either. That's across this giant canyon as well. I don't know, I'll keep glassing. If I see more over there, I'll probably head that way and Go hit somewhere on that side instead of where I've been. But we'll see. Well, back at the wheeler. Started snowing on me and getting nasty, but that's all the haul is for today. I had to leave a few junks. Uh like real small deer sheds I didn't video that I just tossed in the bushes and I had to uh leave those two chalk elk sheds that there's just no way I could get to, so I don't know. It's kind of interesting day, mixed feelings about it. There were two trucks here this morning, and they're both gone, so they obviously uh, got sick of it a little earlier than I did. All right, guys, it is bright and early. We're in Montana today. Heading to a spot I've done well in in the past. Picked up some good sheds. Going to try to get up in there um, early enough to do some glassing, see if their bulls actually shed out, and then pretty much regardless of what we see, we will go hit some opens where the bulls never hang out. We've got about 40 minutes till it gets light. We're going to get back in there as far as we can. Try to set up and glass that hill and see what the, the bulls are doing. I just sat down. No bulls up on the ridge I'm looking at, but lots of oak track. I do see a backslider of bulls up there. Got a mile, so I'm going to put them in the scope here for you and uh, we'll see if we got any shed bulls up there. Definitely some shed bulls. That's a good six-point girl. 
There's two obvious shed bowls right there in the middle. As you can see. Let's see if I can show you the other one. Oh, we went to oops, bed down in the open. Nice. A couple more bowls just stepped out. We got another nice six point. That's another good bowl. So, I mean, seeing three shed bowls and two pretty dang good six points still packing, maybe there'll be some big sheds on the ground up here this year. But, well, same group of bowls. Looks like the back end of them showed up though. Different little six point and I think a different shed bowl. So, I believe four shed bowls now. That bobcat right there. That's pretty cool. Heck yeah. Got about 20 bulls spotted roughly. Four shed from what I've seen. Also looks like there's five or six bulls up on this ridge somewhere. <clears throat> Which is usually where I found find them. So I'm gonna do some big loops on this ridge where I've found sheds in the past. Just see what it's like if there's nothing. I'll spend some time glassing where those bulls were from up on here. See if I can't pick out some, some browns out there. And then if uh, if I can't, I'm going to try to figure out where those bulls went. And try to go hit the stuff that they're not in, um, that they've been hanging out in. So, we'll see what happens. Should be a good day though. Well, when I was glassing those dudes, you could see they had a shed on their back. And they're right above where the bulls are. So I said, screw it. I got to come this way or... They're gonna find everything and just spot it. Probably can't see it. It's right, right there. Tines down. Let's go up to it and see what's up. What All right, there it is. <clears throat> Ooh, I'm tired. Pretty decent bull. Broke a second, but a nice little brown. Take a picture, pull them out, and then we'll start looping. All right, it doesn't look like a giant, but a good bull. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, yes. Wish he wasn't broken. It's a nice six point, though. <sighs> That's what I'm talking about. I wasn't planning on going over there, but we got a brown he spotted. So. We're gonna go get it. Hopefully it won't spook these other bulls. It's pretty close to where uh, I found this first brown, so maybe it's his match, but we'll see. <clears throat> oh. Let's follow the elk track. Hoping this is the match. I don't know, it looks like a lot smaller bull. Maybe not. Just a little six point. Pretty sure it's different bull, so. Still cool. Definitely a different bowl. <clears throat> Same side. That's from this morning. That's right where I was watching those bowls. So I'm just gonna backtrack this this bowl track and uh, match him up. But the other brand I found was just over that edge. So now that the young bowls are gone, I'm gonna do some loops. See if I can't match that one up. I'm gonna just loop them back. I think I got another left side right here. What in the world? Certainly. That one's a little nicer. That one might have been dropped this morning too. Boy. Dude, what the heck? It was dropped this morning too. Huh. It's another left side. I have a zero match. It's just insane. This is nuts. I'm pretty sure two of these are from this morning. Another decent one. That one's kind of interesting. It's kind of fat. It's still more of a rag six. I saw bigger six points in this pack in that day. So. I'm just going to follow all this bull track back in the direction it came. And eventually I'm going to have to find the other sides to both of these. Let's do it. Well, that's going to do us for us here today. I tried backtracking these bulls, these two, that were fresh, fresh, you know, from like this morning. But this snow is from yesterday, so 
Eventually I ran out of track. Is what it is, you know. Got this one. Like I said, I mean, these are these two are from this morning. Cause I didn't see any one antler bulls. So I know, I know for a fact these are from this morning. Nice and bloody, nice and fresh, super cool. This is more of obviously like a, a rag six point. Um, that's good. And we've got this one who's pretty dense. Just like a, like we kind of see the age progression. We see, you know, a three and a half or two and a half, whatever, three and a half to four and a half to five and a half. This one's a bit heavier. Just young, again, super bright white face, brand new from this morning. Freaking awesome. And then, uh, then we've got our first one that we found. This is the biggest one. Who, not huge. Again, just a young bull. Probably right at that 280 mark if he weren't broke. Maybe a little bigger. Nothing on him is very, very big. But, uh, yeah, it's almost just under the snow, so wish I knew where these bulls went, but I did see those two other guys early in the morning. I saw one dude had a shed, and then while I was watching, right before I found these ones, uh, I heard some noise behind me that sounded like a guy was celebrating finding the shed. So it's what it is. I did loops where I could, and, and um, I'm pretty happy with how today went. Just wish there weren't other people in here, right? But this is what it is. Awesome day. I'm gonna bust my butt and get out of here. It's a long hike, so let's keep going. Thanks for watching, guys.